The Delacner HZ-1 AeroCycle was a unique, experimental, one-man helicopter developed by the United States Army in the 1950s. Designed for reconnaissance and rapid deployment, it embodied a radical approach to battlefield mobility. Built by the Delacner Helicopter Company, the AeroCycle was part of the Army's effort to create a compact aircraft operable by soldiers with minimal flight training. Originally called the DH-4 Healy Vector, the HZ-1 AeroCycle featured a coaxial rotor system, two counter-rotating rotors mounted on a vertical axis. What made the AeroCycle especially unconventional was the pilot's position, standing atop the engine and rotors, gripping a set of handlebars. The platform was stabilized by the gyroscopic effect of the rotors and controlled by shifting body weight, similar to riding a Segway or balancing on a surfboard. It was powered by a 40-horsepower, two-stroke engine and could reach speeds of up to 65 miles per hour, 105 kilometers per hour, with an operational ceiling of around 5,000 feet. Flight duration ranged from 30 to 40 minutes. Despite its compact design and theoretical ease of use, the AeroCycle proved difficult and dangerous to operate in practice. Its lack of traditional controls, vulnerability to rotor strikes, and instability in wind made it a hazardous machine. Testing began in 1954 at Fort Eustis, Virginia. Although initial demonstrations were promising, accidents during evaluation raised safety concerns. One test flight ended in a crash when the pilot lost control after a minor shift in weight. While the Army had planned to train infantry to fly it after just 20 minutes of instruction, it became clear that the AeroCycle required a higher level of skill than anticipated. Only 12 units were built. By 1956, the program was canceled due to safety issues and the emergence of more practical reconnaissance alternatives like helicopters and improved airborne surveillance. The idea of a flying platform never reached deployment. Today, the HZ-1 AeroCycle remains a symbol of Cold War innovation and experimentation. One surviving model is preserved at the United States Army Transportation Museum. Though it never saw combat, it influenced later developments in personal flight and drone technology. The AeroCycle stands as a fascinating artifact, a blend of ambition, ingenuity, and the limits of what a single soldier could control in the air.